Continue with the song after this announcement. We have somebody that is down, that is very.
please, we'll still continue the song. Because of the urgency of the matter, we still need the medical. Oh, yeah, you go, 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 you go
now take a position comfortable for you and begin to talk to your heavenly father who invited us to come before him in a season like this avoid every form of distraction be focused and concentrate Thank you. 
unto thee, O Lord, like unto thee, O Lord, among the God, none is like thee, glorious in holiness. Careful in praising. Receive all the glory, receive honor, receive all the glory, receive honor. honor. Nara Nara Chukubi Kogosye Chineke Bine Nigwe Naro Ninya Gosye Naraya Father, we are grateful to you for granting us life, good health, and the opportunity to appear before your altar according to your glorious invitation. It is with our hearts filled with gratitude that we all here assembled lift up our hands and say, May all glory, may all honor, may all might, May all jubilation, may all majesty, may all respect, may all adoration and our burnt sacrifices, may all hallelujah, may all hosanna, may all baruch atah Hashem, may the bowing down of our heads and knees. May the bowing down of our heads and knees, may the bowing down of our heads and knees. We thank you, our Father in heaven, for you are indeed the most merciful and the most gracious. And out of your steadfast love for us, you have instructed us in your Torah to come before you with these offering materials on this day, meant for the evening sacrifice of the Feast of Weeks Shavuot and the Count of the Omer for the seventh evening of Sivan, just as you commanded in the Torah. Command the children of Israel and say unto them, my offering and my meat for my sacrifices made by fire for a sweet savor unto me shall you observe to offer unto me in their due season. And you shall say unto them, this is the offering made by fire, which you shall offer unto the Lord. Two lambs of the first year without spot, day by day, for a continual burnt offering. The one lamb shall you offer in the morning, and the other lamb shall you offer at evening. It is a continual burnt offering, which was ordained on Mount Sinai for a sweet savor, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. Also in the day of the first fruits, when you bring a new meat offering unto the Lord, after your weeks be out, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no servile work, but you shall offer the burnt offerings for a sweet savor unto the Lord. Two young bullocks, one ram, seven lambs of the first year, and one kid of the goats, to make an atonement for you. You shall offer them beside the continual burnt offerings and his meat offering. 
There shall be unto you without blemish, and there are drink offerings. This day, our community has completed the offering of the total numbers required for the Feast of Weeks, the Shavuot celebration, and have brought them upon the altar of the Lord. The sum total of our offerings are two blocks, one ram, seven lambs, and one he goat, beside the morning and evening offerings, which are a total of two lambs. All these offerings were brought before you with their condiments according to their numbers, just as you have commanded. May it be your will, our Lord, King of Israel, to accept our sacrifices of obedience, which we have rendered unto you, and bless us in all our generations. I am ready and prepared to perform the positive command concerning the count of the Omer. As it is written in the Torah, you shall count from the day following the day of rest. From the day you brought the sheave of the wave offering, seven full weeks shall be counted. Even unto the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, you shall number 50 days, and you shall offer a new meat offering unto the Lord. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with your commandments and commanded us concerning the count of the Omer. Today, being the seventh day of Sivan, is the 50th day of the count of the Omer, being seven weeks and one day from the first count of the Omer and the Feast of Weeks Shavuot. The 50th day, which is today, marks the anniversary of the giving of our Torah, Ziman Matan Torah Tenu, which is commemorated with the Feast of Weeks Shavuot. May it be your will to prepare us physically and spiritually to faithfully uphold your Torah, which we have received, for in your mighty name we pray. You gave us instructions on how to present our burnt offerings unto you, so that it shall be accepted by you and your blessing shall fall upon us, saying, also in the days of your gladness and in your solemn days, in the beginning of your months, you shall blow with the trumpet over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, that they may be to you for a memorial before your God. I am the Lord your God. Therefore, we have come to you in the place which you have chosen to place your name amongst us in our generation to perform this sacred function and religious obligation, just as you instructed. Then there shall be a place which the Lord your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. There shall you bring all that I command you, your burnt offering and your sacrifices, your tithes and the heave offerings of your hands and all your choice vows which you vowed unto the Lord. Father, who is like unto you? Who can be compared to you? Please, may it be your will to accept from us all that you commanded us to bring upon your altar at this time. For you are the God who honors your word above every other thing. May your glorious name be praised, exalted, extolled, adored, and lauded now and forevermore. Lord, we praise thee. In thy holy tabernacle, that we may rejoice for thou art worthy of praise, that we may rejoice, that we may rejoice. That we may rejoice, for thou art worthy of praise. 
With utmost gratitude, we, the entire membership of the community of Hashem, have assembled in your house, the High Tabernacle, to thank you for granting us a glorious invitation to appear before you for the celebration of this great Feast of Weeks Shavuot and to perform these sacred functions and religious obligations, just as you have instructed in the Torah. Father, you have indeed blessed us and made a way for us to bring before you these offerings. Besides our individual, families, and synagogue offerings, Toda Rabah Hashem, for the providence, enablement, and prosperity upon us. You are indeed a faithful God. We bless your name and say, there is no God to be compared to you. A Father who honors his word above every other thing, steadfast with his love, mercies, and kindness throughout all generations. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. We equally thank you for your strength upon your congregation and the ministers. Particularly thanks for your strength upon the Levitical family who have prepared and presented all these offerings before you. Father, we jointly declare that there is no God like you. Neither can anything be compared to you. For you have indeed granted us good health, life, and blessed us with your providence and protection. However, can we thank you enough for your mighty deeds in our lives. May your glorious name be blessed, praised, adored, and lauded above every other thing, now and forevermore. Father, may it be your will to have mercy upon us and pardon our iniquities. According to your loving kindness, and through the multitude of your tender mercies. Please, blot out our transgressions. Be merciful unto your children. O oh Lord, be merciful unto your children. We have come before you, not because we are in any way perfect, but our coming before you is to plead that you please cast away all our impurities and iniquities. Perfect our imperfections and sanctify us with your word. For your word is forever the truth. Please purge us of all uncleanliness and make us worthy of your everlasting presence. Remove from us all filthy garments and clothe us with your righteousness. Father, please take us back that we may begin our journey again with you. This is our plea. We give no command. Hear us, O Lord. For in your mighty name we pray. Our Father in heaven, there is nothing the flesh can do without the assistance of your spirit. Please renew your spirit within us and teach us the right path. Enable us to walk in your path of righteousness through the help of your spirit, which you promise to give us for reproof, correction, and instruction in righteousness. May it be your will to perfect us and thoroughly furnish us unto all good works, that we may be your able representatives here on earth and live in total obedience to your everlasting will. Hear us, we pray you, for in your mighty name we pray. Father, your word authorizes us saying that whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. You further told us to rebuke the devil and he shall flee. Therefore, 
In your mighty name, we rebuke all principalities and powers of darkness. In your mighty name, we rebuke all demonic and ancestral forces. In your mighty name, we rebuke all cultic and evil practices which are directed towards us. May they be arrested, disoriented, scattered, shattered, destroyed, and confounded to shame now and forevermore. Your name is our security and protection. And the high tower which the righteous runs to, and they are saved. By your glorious name, save and deliver us from all manner of terrorism and warfare, diseases and sicknesses, natural and unforeseen disasters, we cast and bind them into the abyss, now and forevermore. May we never, ever be victims in the hands of our enemies. And may all their evil plans, both spiritual and physical, be brought to absolute nothing. Destroy all their weapons fashioned against us. Render them null and void. And may they never, ever prosper. In one way they shall come, and in seven ways we shall flee. For you, O Lord, are our light and salvation. Whom shall we fear? The Lord is the strength of our lives. Of whom shall we be afraid? Therefore, our enemies and foes shall stumble and fall. For from you alone do our help come. Grant us deliverance and great victory from all their evil plans. For in your mighty name we pray. You are the Lord from beginning to the end. There is no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Amen. I just want to say Baba o oh, eh, I just want to say Baba o oh, eh, I just want to say Our eternal Father, please hear our supplications and accept us, your children, who have gathered in your house at this appointed time with all our offerings, which you have commanded us to bring upon your altar. Look upon us with pity and mercy and accept our offerings and various gifts which we have brought before you. We have come to obtain your favor and mercy. May these offerings be a pleasing aroma unto you. We pray that we may be at peace with you and be your obedient children all the days of our lives. Favor us, O Lord, we pray, and grant us good health great wealth, breakthrough and prosperity, peace and harmony, elevation and upliftment in all the days of our lives. May we be victorious in all our endeavors. May our enemies bow down and worship you as they see the manifestation of your glory upon our lives. Transform us from the ashes of our despair to hope and glory. May we be adorned with your beauty and honor, for in your mighty name we pray. From your altar of bond sacrifice, which you have decreed for a memorial in all generations, saying, An altar of earth you shall make unto me, 
and shall sacrifice thereon your burnt offerings, your peace offerings, your sheep, and your oxen, in all places where I record my name, I will come unto you, and I will bless you. Our Father, you are a God whose word can never be altered. Therefore, come with the, your spirit and the ark of your strength towards us. Translate all these offering materials into everlasting blessings. Favor us with long life. Favor us with good health. Favor us with great wealth. Favor us with elevation, upliftment, resounding victory and success. Above all, may it be your will to prosper the works of our hands. Enlarge our borders and fight against all our adversaries. May our enemies be found liars and may their evil plans against us never see the light of day. Give us your peace and always guide us to do those things that are pleasing in your sight. For in your mighty name we pray. These are your eternal promises to them to whom you made a covenant of sacrifice upon the altar, saying, Gather my sins together unto me, that, that they may, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Father, you also say, I will come unto you, and I will bless you. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Is love oh, and honor to the Lord. Open up your arms for the final benediction. Our Father in heaven, may it be your will to perform your word, which says, keep therefore the words of this covenant and do them, that you may prosper in all that you do. Prosper your people, O God of Israel, and bless them with the dew of heaven. Grant them the abundance of the earth. May the blessings of Abraham, our father and your friend, be upon us, his children, and upon our children's children. From today, cursed be anyone that curses you. From today, blessed be anyone that blesses you. May the eternal one, blessed is his holy name, grant you his everlasting protection and steadfast mercy. May he defeat your enemies as they approach you. And may all their weapons fashioned against you never, ever prosper. May God heal you of every disease and save you from every known and unknown pandemic. May his blessings fall upon you, pursue and overtake you. And may the Lord bless you and the works of your hands with his abundant favor, grace, kindness and mercy. For in his mighty name we pray. May the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts find favor before your altar of burnt sacrifices now and forevermore. May the Lord hear our prayers. Open up your arms for the ironic blessing. May Hashem bless you and keep you. May Hashem make his countenance shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May Hashem lift up his countenance unto you 
and grant you everlasting peace. May we all together shout aloud seven times, Hallelujah, Hosanna, Baruch, Ata Hashem, seven, 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 everybody. May we all bow down on countable times unto the Lord, thanking him for the acceptance of our burnt sacrifice. May his blessings forever rest upon us, now and forevermore. Shalom and happy feast of weeks shall watch to you all. Amen. 
Hello, can I get a job? Oh, 